Good morning, America. How are you? Yep. We are starting here on Foreman Simulator 17 of Upper Mississippi River Valley. Um, get my stuff up here. How y'all doing today, folks? Y'all doing all right? Let's see. Who, who is this in this truck? Just pulled up. Oh, this nice truck. Go to the map here and see. Probably ain't going to tell me. Because it's course play. Uh, it's course play, so it's not going to tell me. Well, anyway. Oh, helper Patty. My mom drove a truck up here. Why ain't that something? Oh, 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 oh. I got to stop power reverse. Uh, clear that route out. Folks, I am doing okay today. I'm doing okay. Hope y'all are too. I brought these wagons up here because we're going to fill each one of them up with uh, a different type of crop. Beans and one, wheat, corn, and so forth. On the right tool here. Only in park there. This is our new work truck. Along with this one here, I believe, is our 650. Got our bucket and stuff on the trailer we ain't got off yet. Yeah, 650 custom. It's a nice truck. But, well, folks, today, today, we're going to get busy cutting some soybeans. Um, well, before we do that, let's let's get the guys up here. I don't guess I uh, um started them. Oh, there's my mom. There's a six R. Uh, enter that. And see where we're at. All right. Alright, that is on, latched on to that, and this one should be latched on to that one. Now this one here is going to do course play. Now I'll we'll get up a little bit further here. I got it set to market to farm. We're going to drive course. Stop at the last waypoint. Oh, please don't. Don't. There you go. Then uh, the other should follow, hopefully, with no problem. I think I need this header trailer. I'm going to take it back here in a little bit. Whoa! Inside of Kentucky. Um, now I'm going to need these two trucks where they're going. Hopefully we won't. Um, probably just leave that alone. i got to get back in my combines. Whoa. Alright, let's check and see what he's got left. He's up here plowing these fields that they uh, harvested corn in last episode. Uh, of course, this is episode four, by the way. He yeah, missed this a little bit. Not much. I don't know planter we got will plant over unplowed ground or not, so it's fun. Giving it all a good plow. I think you left some up here, so. Uh, would be a little bit 
Alright. I didn't do that. We, we gotta go over here and get these combines going, folks. Uh, let's see. Let's run through here. Because this area here, I uh, know I've probably done explain. I'm gonna level it all out after we get these soybeans out of here. And, uh, go from there. Alright, good. It's gonna feel Texas. Feel Texas. I hope it's not that loud, noisy on the game. No problem, sir. You're making things a lot noisier. Alright, he's going that way. Now, believe it or not, I know y'all can't see it, but I have a grain tank system underneath, uh, underneath the ground here. I inserted it into the map, but I'm like, no, I ain't done with this area because I want to get the off here. And I got to level all this up somehow. So, uh, yeah. Somehow or another, I won't put in I might need to let this follow up and I'll work on this. Yeah. Let's uh, have a straight. Wow, these things cut fast. When you hire them, they don't run as fast. But there's regular me driving it myself. Woo -hoo. I gotta keep an eye on the grain buckets and stuff. We really probably gonna need them down there. Hopefully. Colin Julian vlogs with the AR and the rest of the crew down there. Well, we're going to get these soybeans here at Harvest and then, uh, Probably gonna cut the tape for about eight hours. And, uh, no, no. Yep, y'all see the grain bins on the next episode, folks. I, I'm sorry, but you know, try to be somewhat realistic. You know, it'll take a while to build some grain tanks, so probably gonna take me a while to straighten all this stuff out. And I know they'll probably never see my video, but the squad or DR mod, if y'all can, can you please tell me? Can you please tell me what this what this grass right here is? I cannot get it to come out of the game. And I probably skipped a two layers. But see right here, I put down concrete, asphalt, whatever, and I, I can't get this out of it. 
And right here, it looks like two, th two or three different kinds. It might be all one, but I need help with this right here. I can't get it out. But anyway, other than that, I'm doing great. Oh, combine still. The old bird is still working. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this, folks. Not too much, maybe not a couple of minutes. Just try to go around the outline of this. Trying to get the uh, other combines set up where it'll work a little bit better. Oh, heck, I can finish this right here, no problem. But I do want to tell you, uh, there will be an update this and cover pretty soon. But, you know, this is the uh, version 2.1 beta. And it is a beta. And Dave is catching a lot of heck over this. You know, like, this don't work, that don't work. Or this ain't doing such and such. Well, folks, he did say it's a beta. He did say it was a beta. It didn't change nothing but it being a 2.1 beta. Um, I think he said when version 3 comes out, it will be actual uh, working game. Don't have to worry about that. Everything should be working. And the reason why I brought that up is Friday, y'all should have watched Pleasant Valley realize I said that Pleasant Valley is also going to uh, version 3 I think so yeah oh my goodness I got back just in time now, I don't really like this chop straw folks But, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll leave it in the game. It's hard to tell where you spray that, for real. Alright, I'm going to let him go across there. I'm going to go back down here. My own auto save. That scares me every time. Uh-oh, ADAR has reached its trigger. So I'm going to hire a worker here. And uh, go catch the eight R's. Stop driver, clear course. So we got the two grain cart and a semi truck. And I guess it's, yeah, only the semi truck I brought down here, okay. So in that case, what we're going to do, we're just going to go right on down here, and um, I don't think he's, did they bring, how about the, I brought the horn headers down. Yeah, I did bring them down, they're sitting way over on the other side. Gotta really pay attention right here. I want to hit a building or nothing. But as soon as they get done with the soybeans, I'm going to put them in that field there with uh, the corn header so we can get that taken care of too. Got just a little bit of work there to do. But this is going to be the road right here, folks. Yeah, I'm going to have two grain systems here. Uh, one in front and one in the back of my track. And, um, yeah. this baby to park right about here 
I'm just going to let him follow me. I don't think we'll need him. I am going to bring him out here just a little bit. Stop them right there. And now I'm going to go back to the combines. Yeah, whatever he's doing here. Almost a full header. Well, it's full header, but you know what I mean. Trying to get all in there at once. Now, as far as all this back in here, I have no idea, folks. And the only reason I'm putting the grain tanks here, at this farm, is it's about center of the map. Now, up at the cows, we'll have, probably have another storage grain tank or something. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, there you go, head her up. When we get going, get rolling back in the money again, we're going to probably get another combine. So we can really rock and roll. So that's a pretty good spot, space there. We won't need all this for the grain bins. So this might wallow out and get to be a field, still be a field. So, so you go on that way, so I'm going to go this way. how they do it really in real life they just make a big old wide swing go back in and at it should be able to get most of this over here. But yeah, folks, uh, I know Pleasant Valley, you got watching this. Uh, see, I'm recording this on, um, what is today? Wednesday? No, today's Thursday. Today is Thursday I'm recording this. So I still don't know about the update or anything I'm just you know letting y'all know that if I get my hands on it Pleasant Valley 3 will be coming out if they release it so oh man try to get all that try to take it all the way out But yeah, there'll probably be about eight grain tanks sitting here next time y'all next episode, hopefully. Shouldn't take that long to get that fixed. Well, that might throw him off guard, but maybe we can get down here and get it before he get to it. And I do have some bad news on Oregon Springs. 
Um, I had a mod conflict, but I did get the map recovered. But I did lose a little bit of equipment, so I'm going to have to find a way of getting that equipment back in there. But, uh, I lost the chrome baler, the combine, and a few other things. I had to completely take every mod there was out to get the map started back. I'm like, what is wrong? Put it off even there. Got to come around, around like that. Now I might have to build up here in just a few minutes. J Brew should be okay with this. Yeah, you know, I'm going faster than he is. He shouldn't have that much. Yeah. You know, hopefully. But yeah, this is realistic going 20 mile an hour cutting beans. It's unrealistic. Uh, fast I know they can go is like 6.3. So. Yeah, I'm getting pretty full cool here. Try and take this corner out here. I thought. Now wait a minute. I'm get in front of you. Please. Thank you, Jay Boo. Where's Boo at this morning? Or should I say Eden? But well, that's Eden time. Duh. Yeah, they'll come out like that and they'll swing around. Back in the old days, we didn't have all these sensors and stuff on the combine. We had uh, left and right brakes up in the cab. And you can come out and hit left and right brake and the swing tail end of the combine around and make some tight turns and keep going. Oh, that's a bad spot to be unloading. Hold on, we might just go, I'll go ahead and dump in the truck. The auger out. move across the road there. Who say watch me hit it? I really need to do this a little bit longer. Or Oh, or he's unloading them and get another one.
You know what I say, this feels whipped, whooped out, wiped out. I don't know why I said whooped out. good folks I hope well there is some beans there all right now we are empty 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 That sword damage. What is that? What in the world happened there? Y'all see that? Let me check my controls here. Plant wizards off. Micro storm. Three. Okay, and another thing, we don't have uh, nothing but sheep right now. We got ten sheep. We're they getting? Well, they need some grass. We need to get some cows and pigs, at least a little bit of each. We don't have a bank loan, not yet. Trying to save from it. Oh, we got a great demand for corn. Got plenty of corn coming up. Um, I thought we had some, oh, I was going to check for soybeans. Um, this is the next field, field 26. Be that up there, okay. Then j -Boo's done. I think it's the only thing that takes the longest on the uh, thrashing of field is transport. It takes a while for them to get down the road and stuff. My right, here's our beans. I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. Big as this is, I'll, I'm gonna let him take care of that. Who who we got anyway? Ah, oh, boo! You finally decide. Okay. Yeah, boo's over there. So. What we're gonna do? We're gonna take this header off. Put a corn header on it. Since we didn't have to use our auger wagons, we're going to keep one of them put corn in. We're going to get this green one here to follow this combine here. We'll use the blue one. Uh, for the soybeans, transport them. If 
probably shouldn't have followed right yet. So I gotta take the header off. Eh. Okay, I'll be alright. Throw the front header. See what we're just going to drop it right here. Maybe it won't grow. And we'll get the what is it, 4840 or 4040? I can't remember which one it is. to uh, pull that under the shed. Now as far as the uh, fill there, I, I guess you use a regular header for it. No why it's got a star beside of the other combine. It's still going. I guess because it's working or something. I don't know. Don't know, folks. But I wish I could get this grass out of here. And uh, it would look a whole lot better when I put those green bins down. Alright, well I got J Boo's gonna be following the combine. But yeah, I took all these trees out with the Giants editor, kind of smoothed out this crane, but I can't get this grass here out. But I got all the rest of it out. See I'm gonna start I'm gonna go through here and start. JB like probably make up your mind but I'm gonna have a road going through here and around but this ain't gonna be the primary way out this is this is gonna be a a way to get to the uh, the, the grain bins over and stuff And there's some more grass right here, as y'all can see, I uh, couldn't get out. Oh no, Fido! No, Fido! Oh, he dodged the wheels. You gotta be careful with chickens and animals around here. Alright. Gonna start harvesting corn. Five by an hour, it's gonna be slow. Fast on beans, slow in the corn. Of course, it does have a big header on. So it's got a big bee in there. And probably going to the best of them, too. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do this in across the, uh, across here. Matter of fact, I think I probably need to just go all the way around. Uh, boo. Doing pretty good, 15% soybeans, so. Take the header up, back up. Header down. I was watching a squad last night on their former channel and they're talking about getting Dazzling to come over to their channel. I'm like, oh my god, that would be so cool. But would I want Dazzling to come or would I want somebody else to come? Who would you think I would want to come to my channel to play with? Between... DR mod 
their squad, Dagrin, Diesel Designs, Brad M73. Who all would you say I would want to come to my channel? Leave a comment down below, folks. 35 minutes in, I'm going to see if y'all know uh, if y'all are watching my videos all the way through or not by leaving y'all a surprise period in the middle. This kind of help me out a little bit, folks. All right, Boo is at nineteen percent. I'm really, really getting faster. And I still got to be. I gotta take off the AI worker and put a regular worker on this. But I'm gonna go across the end and then uh, maybe around across this end and I'll put on a regular. You see, I was right maybe a row over and look how it's doing that. So that's why I was doing it that way. Because this end here, it kind of messes up down to here. It's not exactly, as you can see right here, goes down through there. And this pole here scoots over. So, so I got a sprayer over there. By the way, I had to respray a few fields, which I forgot all about. I got the sprayer ready to spray, but... I shut it off. One of those habits. Alright. And I thought about, whoa, what are you doing? You better not get hung up. That's what I thought. I'm gonna. Yeah, make it round across here. The thing about putting some grass here on the ends to square this up some. You can see how it's going to run into the poles. So, yeah. And then uh, I'm going to plow this field all out to here a little ways get all this squared up like I did in uh, well, episode 2 I believe I think something like that Way past blue, 34%. She's 29%. That self prepared to spur is 78%. That's the big one. I'll show you all in a minute. The Kentucky, the 6R. This is where I'm going to overlap this a little bit. 
just to make sure I get all of it down there and I've got to Turn that off and hire a worker. Last up down here is I can't see. I can't see who they are. Whoa. Where did I go? Where did I go? Oh, J Metal 797 is there with J Boo. Seven. J Metal is driving the combine. J Boo's in the green buggy. Boo's over here. Let's go. See how she's doing. Okay, she's gonna make it almost around. Not bad. Um, just going to take the six hour down there and start planting, but I got to get some uh, seeds and stuff. Kind of dab through here. This one's going to go take care of the boo. And, um, we'll just leave the truck there. Uh, this buggy and boo should hold everything. And hopefully that truck will hold this wheel. I'm gonna get blue per about right here if I don't forget. Now I'm gonna go to shop. I hate to waste money. Uh, but I need. Oh, it's not that. Is it that? No, I don't think it's that. Um, let's go over to the trailers. And uh, y'all remember that Ford truck? I think that's what made. Uh, Here's the new PJ trailer, 15,000. We're going to buy it and see what's going on with it. And, uh, close enough. I'm going to run over here and see what that trailer looks like. Oh, my God. Okay, it's got a round hitch on it, so. You're a Kentucky truck. We made it round almost to the corner. It's gonna hurt. I didn't do, do nothing. Guess I'm gonna have to reset it. Got a lot of equipment. Right there. Now, in this game, it does not cost you to reset. Um, okay. Where did it go? Oh my god. I know Boo's done past the tractor by now. Well, that's not it. Oh, that was it. What, you, you kidding me? That's all the way right there. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, we'll just get back to that later, shall we? Really, boo. Boo don't really need clean out right now, but clean out. <laughs> what do you need to clean out? When I get this done, I'll check and see. I, I think this is the last soybean field. I don't know we had wheat and mullet or whatever that red stuff is. Uh, we got see I don't see it on here canola I don't see no canola nowhere uh, soybeans well field we're in and then one and four up there between one and four is soybeans uh rest of that is corn that's all in orange and then we got a lot of mullet and that's what's in that field that's in 25 right there no rye but yeah you can see all that's mullet Well, I got a question though, the wheat, tiny bit right there in 25, that I can tell, huh, is it okay, um, okay, don't, I don't know why folks, I don't know why, Okie dokie. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> really don't know. What is that feel there? That's going to be mullet. Okay. Alright, we're going to go on over. Cut this spot. Now, folks, what I'll probably do is just... Um... Probably just going to finish cutting this field here. I need this field empty also so I can get that corner there fixed like I had. And then uh, I'm going to take these combines. Well, I can't do it right now, but I'm going to take them across the river and work on episode five because this is episode four. Episode five, we are going to be working across the river. Um, I will be taking a, I'm going to take a buggy of corn on a buggy of soybeans. Is that all of it? Yeah, that's all. We're going to go on down here. Let's see turn around. But those grain gravity bins I got. I'm going to uh, take one of each, one like beans and one, the beans should be the same as canola. Now I'm going to need uh, corn, I'm going to need a root crop, uh, 
like sweet potatoes or something. And I don't think there's any on this one, so. I don't know if I'm going to have enough corn out of this or not, but whatever it takes us field up to one of the auger wagons. I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to get one auger wagon full, or not auger wagon, but those uh, gravity bins full of corn. Uh, hopefully there's enough here to fill up. And then after I do this, I'm going to go and get that trailer. I'm going to buy some seeds. I think I got in front of them. He's empty anyway, so. Uh, 16,000, so I need four, I need 9,000 more to fill auger the gravity bins because they are 25,000 each because I upped them a little bit. And uh, we are pretty much out of time, folks, so I'm basically just going to finish this bean field. And finish that cornfield, and then I'm gonna level that ground up and stuff, and uh, get that grain bin set up. I'm just gonna probably stay back here, work back and forth until I get this done. I hate this because I have to drive all the way over to get that. Come on. I gotta get my eye on him. I hit drive force. I guess I didn't. Please don't hit the tractor. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. I'll keep my eye on him. Let's see if this guy needs to pull it up a little bit. It's so laggy right here. All these trailers sitting here. Holy cow. That ain't gonna work. I have to hook that to another one. That's what I'm looking for. Oh man, really? Thought you would be done. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, finish buying the other two fields up there also. And these fields, folks, I'm sorry, gonna have the grass on them and we won't forget about them. Maybe, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking about. Leave me a comment down below. Because I won't have time to uh, get them this time around. 
finish plowing these other two and then I'm gonna take this plow down to the uh, farm shop and do a bean field. But anyway, leave a comment down below if you think they should be grass or not. Cause they're so far away. I know across the river that's far away too, but yeah, it's a big field. It's just a long, big field where this is not. So, but anyway, folks, I guess I'm gonna get off of here. Don't get stuck crossing this ditch. Oh, I just love that. But uh, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching my videos. And folks, I am at 9,940 something views. Almost, uh, what is that? Like almost 500 views away. It, it, it's so awesome. And I couldn't have done it without y'all. So. When I reach 10,000 views, might be a little bit afterwards, if I can get my ads on my videos again, I'm going to be so happy. That's going a little on an angle. But anyway, I, I got to get off here. Uh, yeah, I know the sheep needs a little grass, but it can wait a little bit. I got to check on the combines. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll finish this myself. I'll take it out so long. All these curves. They do good on straightaways, but not on these curves. Alright folks, like I said, thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of Mr. Blue's family. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the shout out this morning at 11 a.m. if y'all didn't see it. Be sure and go check it out. Um, don't know what I'm going to do yet. You know, like I'm saying, I'm recording this on a Thursday. So uh, I'm still planning ahead. Trying to get those videos up at least a week ahead of time in case something happens. Uh, never know. Electric might go out. Uh, I might get sick or something. Or you never know folks you know it's always best to plan ahead and uh on everything you know get you some water stuck back in case something goes wrong water you know no earthquake or something or a tornado might pop up and be uh, uh not ready and stuff it's going to hurt you so always be prepared and uh don't forget about my brother Colin Julian Fox. Go to his channel, subscribe. Uh, tell him that you came from my channel, and uh, we we got this thing going on. You know, uh, 50 people from my channel go over to his channel. It will be a pie in both of our faces. So if y'all want to see a vlog of that, go over and subscribe to his channel. Why well, I still ain't gonna be one that. Oh well, I left a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, folks, I gotta get off here. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Please leave a like, share me with your friends, and uh, I'll see y'all later, folks. Bye.